Are you on the hunt to own a home? Then you must watch this week's edition of Issues and Answers. In part two of our interview with Housing Minister Dr. Harris Chang, he speaks about government's plans to ensure more Jamaicans have the key to their own homes. Thanks for joining us for Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyne, the Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. The Honorable Horace Chang is back with us today. We hope to complete the discussion on water and then move on to housing and other matters if time allows. Thank you so much for your company. Minister, good to have you. Okay, good um, to be back with you. B back. The issue yeah. of, of, of financing, you had mentioned last time that NWC would need about three billion US uh, yes, dollars yes, to really yes, do sorry. all that it, it needs to, to, to be done. How is the government sorry. taking, what kind of creative approaches well, to, to mobilizing this financing? Well, I start right up front by saying one of the planks for investment that we are pursuing as a government on a broad scale and into what is private public partnership. Mm -hmm. So one of the activities we are going through right now, I have pulled together the personnel from Inter-American Development Bank, the Planning Institute, Finance and Water Commission, and we are going to seek to separate the investment possibilities into those that require that public sector investment oh. and those that can be done on a private public partnership basis. And once we do that, we'll pursue each sector. The public, finance, public investment program will be done within the framework of our fiscal constraints. We are not going to breach the, <laughs> yeah, our agreement with our international partners. Yes. And those that require private, that can accommodate private investment, we will do the documentation required and, and then pursue them. In fact, the new plant in the Recover God that content will be done on a BOT basis, which is one of the private public partnership um, instruments that can be used, build, mm -hmm. operate, and transfer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are because we are very advanced with that. We have in, we are in discussion with other international investors to look at the North Coast where the demand for water is growing. We have adequate water. What we need is investment in terms of the treatment plants and distribution, mm -hmm. major pipelines. And we have in discussion to look at how we can ensure there be another 20 million gallons available as the hotel expansion take place in the North Coast. Um, divestment of somewhere like Sobery. All these are private public partnership initiatives. The downtown sewer collector system looks like something we'll have to focus on in the public sector investment section. Mm -hmm. It doesn't lend itself to private participation. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, too, we are examining the feasibility of allowing Jamaicans to own a piece of their water company. It's a large company. Oh. We currently have a cash flow approaching $29 billion annually. It mm -hmm. provides a vital service. Once we get the non-revenue water down to a manageable level, which is internationally under 40%, and we are looking at 25, 30%, the viability of the company will be very, very healthy. So you might open right. it up to? So we think we have examined how we could put that in the market. In the market. At which point you could either use that money for further capital investment or by then, depending on how far we are gone with our investment program, reduce our debt mm -hmm. and allow long-term funds like pension funds to invest in this so mm -hmm. that Jamaicans will have a stake in it. More critically though, for our, from our thinking, is that we'll stabilize the governance of the Water Commission. Water okay. Commission is a public company, right? It's a publicly owned, managed by the government. And unfortunately, no, I use the public term public wrongly there. It's currently managed by the elected government. Yeah, go, yes. And uh, one of the risks of that is that your governance vary with your minister from every four or five years. Mm -hmm. And that creates some level of instability. And your technical people don't necessarily get a chance to run an entirely professional operation. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the truth of, of politics. So the, gov the government so if, is thinking <coughs> of. If you go to the market model. and you get even a percentage of it on the market. Yes. You not only get capital and participation, true. but you know, come under a governance structure that is determined by the market. That's right. And the stock market rules, which will give greater predictability. Uh, less political control, to be uh, blunt. Well, I have no apologies for politics <laughs> involvement, but what it does is give a predictability yes. and yes. stability to the policy um, mm -hmm. of your water commission and its management over time. Mm -hmm. And that is critical to maintain the efficiency of a company like the Water Commission. Yes, yes. It needs strong professional corporate management. Yes. And that way you'll guarantee or ensure that your, your water users get water. 
from the social user mm -hmm. to the commercial user. Mm -hmm. Because then you have an efficient company. And we'll know that there'll be an element of social water, I mean, in Japan, which has one of the best run water company. They have a non-revenue water of less than 5%. Mm -hmm. We have strong technical relationship with them. But it means that you identify what is social, as you call it, you know, your standpipes and your um, fire yes. hydrants. And uh, they the necessary agency of government will pay for that. But there's always a reliable supply mm -hmm. and it's run professionally. So your deliverables is always there. Mm -hmm. We think going public will in fact bring that to bear on the water company. Mm -hmm. And the other companies that will have to go that route, putting a percentage of the company in the market is not you know, it's not difficult. It's, it's practice worldwide. Mm -hmm. Water companies are internationally owned largely by the public, by governments. But many of them have shares in the stock market. Yes. And I think it's... But you're not thinking about privatization? No. Um, to be, or in fact, where that has happened, many of the companies want to go back to the government sector. I'm happy to hear it. Is, it's, it's difficult too critical to, not only too critical, to leave it's difficult just to the market. To if you think of telecommunication, you can charge an uh, interconnection yeah. fee or laugh wires and things. Yeah. Water, what I found in one of the level of countries that, you know, first of all, if you're a separate water company next to it, it's hard. What, what's the interconnection fee? It's difficult yeah. to determine. Yes. Changing old pipes is difficult. Um, it's a challenging activity in the private sector. But once you bring stable government, you see, and you have the majority shares in the public sector, mm -hmm. Remember, you can still now access international funding at concessionary rates, oh. which is critical. So there are benefits and to, the, to the public. You can get public grant funding, and you, you know, because you're still, you have the social element yes. and the economic benefit. Good. And it's a kind of fundamental element in the development program. Yes, right. As I said, it's one of those four pillars that Absolutely. you can't avoid. So you have to treat yes. it somewhat differently from other activities. We take our first water. <laughs> we take <laughs> our first break and then we move on to <laughs> move on to, to, to housing in the super ministry right. of economic growth and job creation. You can make your water safe by treating it with household bleach or by boiling. If you choose to use bleach, you should pour a capful and slowly drop the bleach from the cap. For one liter or one quart of water. Add two drops of bleach. Add eight drops of bleach to five liters or one gallon of water. For 20 liters or five gallons of water, add half a teaspoon of bleach. Containers like 170 liter drums or 45 gallons of water, add four and a half teaspoons of bleach. If you choose the boiling method, allow water to boil for at least five minutes before removing it from the fire. Cover and leave to cool. Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, the Honorable Horace Chang, is our guest. Minister Housing, what hope is there for people just above the minimum wage to, to earn a, a home yeah. of, their, of their own? How, how are you going to reach that element which has traditionally been left out of the job market? Just because of the sheer costs. It, it is, thinking. in many ways, one would say, if you say it, and that's facetious, but lightly, that it is not the cost of the house. It's that the country's wealth has not grown and people's income has remained too low. Yeah. That's just a fact of yes. life. And yeah. it's like the cost of, there are certain minimum inescapable costs in providing Precisely. shelter. Yes. But the goal, we are not deterred by that. We have made housing one of our priorities. And we intend to examine several means by to do, proceed along a route that will bring hope to all our people. Um, the Prime Minister who controls the National Housing Trust intends to have it focus heavily on financing housing mm -hmm. and, and not having it distracted by any other kind of activity. Um, we, we pursue an economic program that allowed interest rate to be relatively low. And on the last occasion, we had the privilege of seeing mortgage rate drop from an average of 18 to 9.6. We can get in the 4, 5, 6 range if to be loved for our, and a large number of people because the cost of money is one of the biggest problems. Then we have to look at the cost of construction and the technology has to be addressed. Mm -hmm. And we're examining some years of that. But, you know, once you get there, there's still a basic structure. And we find that the most affordable unit is still what we call a start-home unit. Mm -hmm. And if we approach it 
in an efficient way, we can still maybe get a home out there that is affordable by most workers. Uh, we, one of the, the plans is to again to engage private-public partnership. Yes. When you have a private partner involved, they optimize their, 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 their time, their technology and money. When you give out a government contract, for some reason or not, there's like kind of psychology out there that, you know, government money is free money. And you start at home that they're supposed to sell it for $3 million, and by the time you finish, you're selling for 4.5, and you have 101 reasons why <laughs> it has gotten there. And the worker with $7,000 a week is left out completely. We have to find a way to, to correct that problem. And among them, I said, is we're looking at private public partnership. We're looking at closer monitoring of some of the activities out there. And we intend to leverage publicly owned land as equity in the private-public partnership. So this is why I say if we take a public, a public loan piece of land, we can see to someone, look, Bill a house for a price point of $3.5 million. Right. He is going to find the money to invest. If he goes above that, he has to give me a very good reason mm -hmm. because he's giving me a signed contract that I can deliver you a starter unit for $3.5 million on this particular piece of land because you already have wastewater treatment in the area. We may have some infrastructure and so forth. That way, I think I can begin to approach a problem. Mm -hmm. We still have to have some focus, and we're going to refocus, you know, reawaken that aspect of government of what we call indigent housing program. Yeah. So far, in the last maybe 15, 20 years, much of that has been given to the a kind of private charities, food for the poor. I think we have to go beyond that to assist some of our homeless people. Um, you know, we come out of a society a colonial society in which the ambition to own home is very strong because yes. its majority of Land Jamaicans could not own property. Right. We have to really send not only a message but do some practical things to correct that, that mischief and we are committed to doing it. I have had the experience of working there on the last occasion. We know some of the challenges. The final thing I mentioned, we are looking at the ex introducing the intergenerational mortgages which will reduce cost. Intergenerational mortgage. Intergenerational mortgage. That Explain is. It briefly, yes. Yeah, it is basically a long term, 60 year mortgage, so mm -hmm. you can hand it down to. Mm -hmm. you know, then the, there are a number of other modern financial tools that can be introduced. To. And along with reduced transaction cost, mm -hmm. and of course, we have one more piece of legislation, I think it's called the Townhouse and Common Years Act to introduce that will give us a complete suite of legislation to manage real estate. Uh -huh. Part of our deterioration in, in our home is that, in our housing stock, is that there was very little legal framework to manage the old areas of, of, the, corporate, of the urban centers. Mm -hmm. So you get this kind of downtown, uptown drift. Yes. Um, it was largely a failure of legislative framework to manage them, as well as an outdated rent restriction act. So. Some of those things were reviewed, and we can bring in place say, a suite of legislation that is modern, effective, and also bring in technology and, um, and financial instruments to assist while leveraging government property. Good. Government lands can be brought in play, and that way I mm -hmm. think we can begin to find answers to some of the solutions. Housing for young professionals, Minister, people just leave in university, people want well, to stay in Jamaica. Well, that's part of it. You see, a young person leaving university earns maybe six thousand, that's what, fifteen thousand yeah. dollars a week, yeah. needs a mortgage that is twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars a month yes. at maximum. Yes. And we, we're looking at it in that direction. The multifamily units in urban centers, start home units as we are, I think you have to look at. There's also the, well, the feasibility, and we have done all the numbers in that of what you call um, graduated mortgages. It was examined in earlier years by the holding trust, but when the interest rate was high, it was difficult. With current interest rate, maybe we can do that. We have to re-examine that. Mm -hmm. Where you start the lower rate, and then you proceed up. Mm -hmm. the, can, you know, as minister, when we, we mentioned these things, some people still have promises. I've given a broad framework policy, which will be implemented. But some of the things are still at the state, we review them, like the graduated mortgages, we have to take another look. There was a time when we had, um, I think it is called um, shared ownership. We have not completed work on it, but again, it's a, it's a possibility. Mm. If you think of the housing trust is structured, it may be a possibility for a trust fund, part of a trust fund to be used to own 
part of a home for a period of time and the, the contributor yes. owns for part of a time. After mm -hmm. 10 years, you buy the you have first right or so, yes. acquire the additional share. So that's these a are creative things, idea. We should these, these are creative see. things we have to mm -hmm. look at. But I said, I wouldn't say that will be done now mm -hmm. because we have to examine the feasibility and what could be done in terms of how much money you can come in these areas. Mm -hmm. Once you go into the strictly non-commercial areas, you cannot overcome it, the funds, whether from holding trust or mortgage bank or any other government institution. Yes, yes. You'll be limited in your exposure. You have to limit your exposure. But if you combine them, you may very well find a solution to the total mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're thinking. Yeah. But finally, you would say, Minister, looking at your portfolio and the four main um, pillars, the thrust is to ensure that we have a proper foundation for economic growth and job creation. That is a critical uh, um, quest, um, activity because we feel it is important to overcome these you know, long years of individual success but little collective growth in the economy. Mm -hmm. And we feel Jamaica has the capacity, the talent and the resources to grow and generate the wealth to give people a much better quality of life and give the population greater sense of belonging to this country. And when we say we want a country in which we want to live, raise our children, work and do business, we really say it with conviction and mean it because we are the best place in which to work, live and raise our families. Great to have had you, Great. Minister. We'll talk again uh, soon. Minister without portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, um, Dr. The Honorable Horace Chang. We thank you for your company. Next week, I'll be back. Until then, Ian Bourne wishing you a very pleasant day.